So over here you can see that I got a plain text and what I have done is I've colored this white right here and I have colored the, this black. So if I were to go down onto the option for compositing for the text, you can see that there's blending modes. I can change around and choose darken and what happens is that it darkens out everything right here. If I were to go around over here and click multiply, it's like darkening with a bit of change right there. If we were to go to color burn, that's another type of darken right here. So these are different types of darkens right there. If I were to go to lighten, then you can see that it becomes a bit more light. So I can go around onto different kind of lighting options right here with a slight different effect. You can go around and change the opacity as well to uh, have transparency over here, just like this. So you can see that is how it works. You can go to difference for difference effect. So you don't really uh, see uh, a lot of chains unless you have colors. So I'm just going to go around and select this. And let's say I'm going to select green color right here. So right now you're having what? You're having a difference effect. But if I were to go to vivid light, you can see that it ha has a vivid light effect. Lighten, it goes for lighten. To understand this even more, we're going to work with a picture. So I'm going to go around over here and I'm going to press OK to get back. And then I'm going to go to media right here. And then I'm going to add in this image on the top of the video. So once I do that, I can double click and over here under compositing, you'll see the same option. So right now the blending mode is normal. I can work around with the opacity and what happens is that the picture on the top gets transparent and you're able to see the video beneath as you can see right there. You can go around and make it very opaque or make it completely transparent as well. Another thing that you can do is work around with blending mode. So if I were to click on darken, what happens is that the bright areas of the picture becomes transparent. So if I were to press play, you can see that this is the picture, the skies and everything white has become transparent, but the dark colors like the shadows and grass, as you can see, is a semi-transparent right there. Now, if I were to go to lighten, the exact opposite happens. Now the dark color becomes transparent while the bright colors stay opaque, as you can see. So you can decrease and increase the opacity to change around the level of effect as well. And over here, multiply has a different sort of like transparency, transparency effect, color burn has uh, more of an intense effect, linear burn has a bit of a light effect. Similarly, screen has a different effect, lighten has a different effect, color dodge has a different effect right there for the lighten area. And you can go for soft light, you can go for hard light, or even vivid light as you can see, and you get similar effects just like that. And you can work around with the opacity for that as well. And that is how you can work with blending mode and opacity for text and pictures inside of Filmora. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.